students myself Tara Prashapati assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in ITICT department today we will start with the new subject professional ethics in that unit number 1 concepts and theories of business ethics in that topic topic will be covered is definition of ethics personal ethics and business ethics what do you mean by personal ethics what do you mean by business ethics difference between personal ethics and business ethics morality and law what do you mean by morality how it is used okay differentiate between morality and law how are moral standard form okay so start with the uh, what is ethics first question is around in our mind what is ethics so ethics is a system of moral principles so what do you mean by moral principles moral principles means what is right and what is wrong depends on person's behavior what is morally right and what is morally wrong Ethics is the word that refers to the moral values and beliefs of the individual, family or the society also. The term is derived from the Greek word ethos which can mean custom, happy, character or disposition. So ethics is mainly depends on what is right and what is wrong that are to be is in this ethics. Ethics means are the set of moral principles that guide a person's behavior. Ethics applies to all aspects of conduct and is relevant to the actions of individual, groups and any organizations. Ethics affects how people make decisions and lead their lives. Ethics is concerned with what is good for individual and society and is also described as a moral philosophy. Moral philosophy means what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad, which, which type of behavior we can behave. Example of ethics. In that, there are many types of examples available of ethics, but over here we can uh, take a five to six example of the ethics in that example number one trustworthiness so what do you mean by trustworthiness trust trust is a very uh, most important uh, example of the ethics and it depends on personal ethics and also business ethics in that values of trust is honesty integrity, promise keeping, loyalty, those are the values of trustworthiness. Then second one is respect. Okay, respect. What do you mean by respect? Okay, in that respect, values of respect is autonomy. So what do you mean by autonomy? So autonomy is about a person's ability to act on his or her own value and interest okay it's called the autonomy then privacy so privacy is also important for uh, business ethics and personal ethics then dignity so dignity is all about our daily life for the uh, like example respect autonomy privacy right then courtesy courtesy means respect for others okay so these are the values of respect then also tolerance acceptance okay the, those are the values of the respects for the ethics then third one is the responsibility so in that responsibility first one is accountability accountability ability means what accountability means who can uh, i uh, if i can work to give any others and uh, who uh, complete this task in particular time manner and given to him then the uh, task is completed within time limits okay so it's called the accountability then pursuit of excellence pursuit of excellence means find uh, the person whose areas of excellence right then the next one fourth one is caring 
caring means uh, care right so in that compassion consideration giving sharing kindness loving those are the values of caring in ethics okay then next justice and fairness so justice and fairness is also useful for the business ethics and personal ethics also so procedural fairness impartiality then consistency equity equality and due process due process means legal requirement okay then next sixth one is civic virtues and citizenship civic virtues and citizenship is also used in personal ethics and the business ethics so in that law binding law binding means that rules and regulation we can follow right then community services then protection of environment those are the example of the ethics next okay we can understand with the personal ethics but what do you mean by personal ethics so personal ethics refers to the ethics that a person identify with in a respect to people and situations that they deal with in everyday life for example sometimes we lie to the person in order to save somebody's from wrong intentions right so this is the example of the personal ethics then personal ethics is a category of philosophy that determines what an individual believes about morality right and wrong this is usually distinguished from business ethics or a legal ethics so personal ethics statements should be straight forward uh, straight forward then unbiased so for th these are the values of the personal ethics there are many values given over here so used in uh, uh, we can use in personal ethics so first one is honesty then trustworthiness then integrity right then promise keeping accountability loyalty justice autonomy privacy safety these are the values of the personal ethics and also other values uh, are there security equality fairness respect responsibility services compassion friendship independent then authenticity these all are the values of the personal ethics then the example of the personal ethics which type of examples given over here of the personal ethics so personal ethics everyday examples right so first one is the software piracy software piracy means illegal documents we can share uh, with anyone okay so uh, uh, use the uh, unauthorized document right so it's called the software piracy expense account padding then copying or homework or test is right copying of homework or test then income taxes then borrowing nuts and bolts office supplies from employer right then copying uh, of videos or cds okay then plagiarism then using the copy machine at work so these all are the examples of the personal ethics okay next one is the business ethics so what do you mean by business ethics in that business ethics business ethics is the study of appropriate business policies and practices regarding potentially convergential subject including corporate governance insider trading bribery discrimination corporate social responsibilities and fiduciary responsibility in that business ethics different types of values in included then morality principles behavior relationship 
then the uh, choices those are the values of the business ethics in that business ethics example of business ethics so example of ethical behavior in the workplace includes which type of examples includes in our workplace so first one is obeying the company's rule then effective communication then taking responsibility then accountability then professionalism and then trust and mutual respect for your colleagues at work uh, then next one is the example of the business ethics so uh, what do you mean by business ethics and the example of the business ethics so in that example of ethics in business first one is accounting so in that accounting misrepresentation the truth right so uh, misrepresentation of the truth then next one is the human resources hiring relatives okay then third one is marketing selling unhealthy product to the youth then next one is it so in that it using illegal copies of software so those are the example of the business ethics then next one is law and morality so what do you mean by law what do you mean by morality okay difference between law and morality so first is law so what do you mean by law law are rules developed by government in order to provide balance in society and protection to its citizen second one is morality so what do you mean by morality so morality is the standard of society used to decide what is right or wrong behavior right next you always tell the truth do not cheat right do not judge have a integrity be loyal have a patience have respect for yourself and other also right so difference between business ethics and personal ethics so what is the difference between business ethics and personal ethics so first one is business ethics so business ethics are the code of conduct imposed on an employee or a member of a certain profession thus whereas personal ethics are the code of ethics that governs an individual whole life business ethics are learned when a person joins an organization whereas uh, personal ethics are acquired from family religion friends and close surroundings example of the business ethics and personal ethics so some example of business ethics includes punctuality time management confidentiality and transparency then some example of the personal ethics includes honesty openness integrity etc next topic is types of ethics so there are many types of ethics in our professional ethics but in that we will study mainly three types of ethics first one is meta ethics second one is normative ethics and third one is applied ethics so start with the meta ethics so what do we mean by meta ethics so meta ethics question of where our ethical principles come from for example are they just a social invention then second one is normative ethics so normative ethics means prescription for our conduct the duties that we should follow then third one is applied ethics means examining specific controversial issues for example in media access then next one is morality so what do you mean by morality so in that uh, explanation we consider as a morality so morals are the prevailing standards of behavior that enable people to live cooperatively in group so moral refers to what society section as a so right as acceptable most people tend to act morally and follow social guidelines so morality often require that people sacrifice their uh, own short time interval for the benefit of the society so people or entities that are indifferent to right and wrong are considered by those who do evil 
act are considered as a immoral so in that while some moral principle seems to transcend the time culture such as a fairness generally speaking morality is not fixed morality describes the particular values of specific group at a specific point in a time next historically morality has been closely connected to religious tradition but today it is significant is equally important to the secular world in that for example business and government agencies have code of ethics the employees are accepted to follow so some philosophers make a distinction between the moral and ethics but many people use the terms morals and ethics interchangeably when they taking about the personal beliefs action and principles for example it's common to say my moral prevent me for cheating so it's also common to use ethics in this sentence instead so morals are the principles that guides individual conduct within in society and while morally may change over the time they remain the standard to behavior that society used to judge the right or wrong this is the morality the next one is law versus morality so law is concerned with the individual liberty of person whereas morality deals with the collective ideas of what is good and bad the next one is law regulate the conduct of man as long he is member of specific community whereas moral guides the conduct of man even when he is all alone the laws take the external acts of the man into the consideration whereas moral looks towards factors such as inner determination and direction of the will law is the uh, one type of the regulation and rules and regulation the next one is the moral standard so a moral standard refers to the norms which we have about the type of action which we believe to morality acceptable or morally unacceptable specifically moral standard deal with the matter which can either seriously harm or seriously benefits for human beings the next the validity of moral standard comes from the line of the reasoning that was taken to back to support them but thus are they not able to be formed to change by the particular bodies of authority how are moral standard formed this is the question arises in our mind how are moral standard formed so morals are formed out of a person's value value means Uh, honesty integrity right responsibility those are the values the next values are the foundation of the person's ability to judge between the right and wrong morals built on this uh, to form specific context driven rules that governs a person's behavior there we are formed uh, from a person like experience and a subject to opinion the next topic is characteristics of the moral standard which type of characteristics in the moral standards so in that it deals with the subject matter that have uh, a seriously implication in society environment and workplace irrespective of whether the implication are beneficial or harmful they are self regulatory their uh, they are based uh, on impartial consideration and uh, they are self inflecting right so these are the characteristics of the moral standard thank you